My name's Louise Glossley. My studio is located at Black Point, 9260 Williams Road. That's my home. My whole home is my studio, indoors, outdoors. What I like about having studio tours and visits is that when people see my work, they have to think a little bit. I like to watch them sort of puzzle over the color or the mood that is brought from my paintings and my stained glass. How long have I been an artist? Well, all my life I remember and still have a drawing of my pony when I was 10 years old. What got me interested in art was long times by myself. I liked to amuse myself and so painting, drawing, solitary activities I enjoyed. What inspires my artwork is the world around me, the colors, sights, sounds. Just basically anything and everything. You can see beauty in everything. And you can see uh, the macabre and the uh, grotesqueness in things. I have taken various workshops around town. I've had the opportunity to take painting workshops from Ursula Medley. I learned watercolors from Susan Forsberg when I first came here 25 years ago. I like lately to paint on pieces of plywood because it gives it that organic feel. My process would be probably how I would feel at the time. And, and sometimes I'm just going by the seat of my pants and just going with the feeling. I work from photos. I, I work from cards and napkins. I work from my mind. I work from outdoors, indoors. I get all my inspiration also from what I'm doing in my life. The type of art I specialize in is oils, mixed media. I like texture on my work. I like the tactile feeling of the texture on paint. I like watercolors because of its unruliness. You can't tame a watercolor. I like uh, acrylics for the bright colors. Kind of like the plasticity of it too because it has sort of a shiny coat on it and so it's very durable. So if you make a mistake, you can just paint over it. I'd like to work in stained glass too. I learned from uh, a teacher up in Lund. Her name was Anne Maleska, and that was almost 25 years ago. And she said that I was aggressive with the glass, which was meaning that I wasn't afraid. I would take the glass and just break it. I enjoy the colors. I like the beauty of the light through the glass. That's basically what drew me to it. I have different kinds of glass here. It's a pretty color. Ooh, that's hot, it was in the sun. I drew some fishes on here. So you cut them out and put them so they fit like this. This is a cutter and it's got oil in it, cutting oil in it, and it has a like a little blade on it. So I'll take a piece here and cut this little guy out here. I'll take this and just... Go across like that, and see, it breaks beautifully. Oh, just keep cutting her closely as you can. So there's your little fish getting close. And then I have like a, a wheel that you grind it to smooth it off. For stained glass, you need a few tools. So with this fid, you would take this piece and put it along here because it's got glue on it. See how it sticks on the edge? This isn't, this is just an example, of course. But you would take your fid and you would burnish it in such a way that it would stay on there and it would adhere to the glass. See, there's lots of fluidity. And that would be basically from the, um, uh, the foil that you would use. It's a wonderful process and you have to be patient as, as, long, as well as being careful. When I have new art, I will post it on Facebook. Look under Louise Glossley or Yellow Rock Studios.